This is code.org. Let's see. In listsorter.java, write methods sort words to sort the list of words in alphabetical order. Perfect. So we're going to be using compare to. I'm certain of that. Let's talk about compare to real quick. String, Java string, I'm under documentation, compare to. Now what compare to is doing, it's comparing two strings. And so let's hit upon this real quick before we even start. I want to clarify system.out.print ln. And so let's say I have the string a and then I do dot compare to b. This is going to give me negative one. Why is it giving me negative one? Well, because A comes in the alphabet before B by one. Now keep in mind capitals matter because this is based on Unicode. It's not actually based on the letters themselves. So that's going to throw this off. But regardless, this is allowing us to compare lexicographically where things fall into order. So if I want to alphabetize something, well, that's pretty simple. I can check if Therefore, if I want to alphabetize something, this is going to be super handy because I can check one word and be like, hey, does this word come before or after this and move it accordingly. And that's exactly how we're going to use how we're going to accomplish what they're asking. So sort words uh, oh, right here. So they're just telling us we get an array list and we have to sort them. OK, hmm. so there would be an efficient way to do this, but what the approach I'm going to take is I'm going to be looping through and if I see a word, I'm going to loop through and look at the words and I'm going to compare them. Let me start hammering some of this out and I'll explain. Okay, so now I'm going to use I to loop through all of the words and we'll target one word each time. And then so I could even do a string current word, I guess, if I wanted to. And then I could do word list dot get I and then J is going to be one step ahead of I. So I could call this next. I could call it left, right? I could call this right and this left. J is starting to be equal to I. So it starts off equal to i, and it's going to go ahead and one step, and by equal to i, it needs to be one plus i, and it's going to be one step ahead because we're going to be comparing all the other words to this one to see where this one actually should go. While we're doing that, we need to do uh, if, right? We're going to be comparing, like I said. So if um, cur, and I could do... So if cur word compare to, so if the current word compared to the next word is greater than zero, the current word then goes after this next word. So if the current word is greater than the next word, then the current word needs to go ahead and be placed after that. So in order to do that, I'm just going to flip flop these and I'll say word list dot set. Um, here, I'm going to call this cur index instead of I. Next index instead of J. Okay. So if the current word compared to the next word is greater than zero, the current word needs to go after the next word. And to do that, I'm going to say, all right, so word list set the current index, cur index, equal to the next word, because we know this next word must be coming first in the alphabet. So it's A or it starts with a B. It starts with a letter that comes before this word's letter. Right, because if this is greater than zero, that means this word has to come after the next word. So we need the next word actually to be pushed back, pushed where this word currently is. So the current index right here, which is where this word's located, we need to go ahead and push the word next word there. And now we need to make sure to add our current word back because now that's been overwritten by this. So we would do word list dot set next index. And then a uh, cur word. 
And then we should be able to loop through all of the words this way. So I actually might not need those two that I left there. Looking good. Let's see what I messed up. All right. Call sort words. Let's see if this has an error or how many. There we go. Oh, well, we need to instantiate list sorter. Uh, oh, no, it's static. Cool. And then we just, I guess, do this. Yes. Cool. Oh, and I should probably print this. It doesn't have a print method. And that is good. Tricky. So what you really want to do, guys, is make sure you're comparing them and shifting the words as you go. Oh, yeah, they were all messed up. Awesome. Onward.